Stark is a uh, robotic arm that uh, we developed here in, uh, in Luxembourg and the original idea was that uh, back in 2019 there was the uh, Arcanaut mission. They were 3D printing in space and they needed a robotic arm to flip the 3D printer so that it can print the antenna from the other side. Typically what a lot of companies do, they do it mission oriented. You'll define a set of requirements that says, okay, for this mission we need an arm that can do A, B, C, and D, and produce the optimal arm for this mission. But the cost is uh, millions and millions of euros it takes years to develop. So that's where uh, Redwire came with this idea to have an affordable arm that can fulfill multiple scenario and requirements with the capacity to work autonomously. So you send the arm, you tell it what to do. You don't need to be controlling it. Essentially, it will go and manufacture whatever it is you need to manufacture without an operator. That means we have like our onboard processing platform and we really injected a lot of um, intelligence into this processing platform. That means we do onboard motion planning um, and uh, that gives customers like an easy way of um, integrating um, this more advanced control functionality into, onto their platforms. This is Stark, the robotic arm with uh, six joints. And we have the um, effector and adapter plate where we mount the camera for the vision system. Now we are testing the grappling capability of our robotic arm using the vision, the camera, and the gripper. It's trying to follow and grasp the mock-up of the satellite. Robotics is, of course, a very complex topic, especially in space. And um, also, of course, customers are concerned with this complexity and, okay, uh, can we really operate such systems in space? And of course, what we try to bring them is the knowledge that we accumulated and now with our expertise in the field of robotics. And of course, what we've seen is that we've built up expertise that can be used also in a lot of different fields. We understand on how we move in space. Uh, that means it might not only be suitable for robotic manipulators, but for mechanisms. And also uh, we have been developing perception solutions in this context. That means how can you um, understand and how an object is moving uh, with a camera. And I think that's really something that um, you know, puts us apart from other uh, vendors of uh, robotic systems. And it's very, very exciting to see the combination of five, six years of work uh, being at the point where it's ready to go to space and do something, quite frankly, extraordinary. We're a very uh, dynamic team, we're not afraid of challenges and it's not like um, we see a schedule that, uh, you know, it's very tight and very challenging and we say, oh, we cannot do that. No, we say, okay, let's find a way how to do this. Everyone is on to put the work, uh, making sure we can deliver uh, what we, we have been asked to and that's what makes the difference. The team spirit in general just shows that um, we're all striving towards the same goal and we should be bold and, you know, using those things to um, uh, yeah, advance uh, also a human's uh, footprint in space. Yeah. <laughs>